Wow, that's kind of scary. So this is an interesting video, one that I wish I didn't have to make. This is the inside of my Capcom Big Blue cabinet. And you can see we have a Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo in here. Um, it was working great. I bought it from a local guy here in Austin named Joe. And he was really cool. He rebuilt this monitor and um, worked great. Probably one of the best looking CRTs on an arcade machine that I've seen in a long time, even in arcades. Really good job. Um, it was working great. So we moved, <laughs> you're probably gonna tell where this is going. Um, we moved in late August or mid, mid August, mid August, something like that. And it's now early December and I have not turned this, turned this on since we moved because I'm in the garage and, um, just haven't had the time to get, make room for it and all that. So I turned it on the other day cause we're getting ready to set up the garage arcade. And this is the flyback. It's, far as I know, and it looks pretty new. But for some reason, and I see the silicone already someplace there, uh, it's arcing really badly somewhere in here. It's basically shooting, it looks like an old Frankenstein film where there's like electrical current passing in the air between this flyback and this metal part here. So the idea here is um, to put something there to keep I don't know, reseal it or something. I saw, I, I can't remember, I'll put a credit someplace in here. Uh, Joe pointed me to a YouTube video where some guy put silicone um, on the flyback to basically seal it up and keep the electricity <laughs> in place. Um, so I did buy some of that, but I also bought some of this stuff. And I don't know if I should use it or not. I'm thinking I will. It's called spray liquid tape electrical because from what I read, there's silicone that's made specifically for electronics to seal it, but I couldn't find any at, at Home Depot, but I found this stuff. I did find regular silicone. And it looks like this, um, just clear silicone. Um, but this is water, waterproof, you know, you look at the, the, you know, it's made for sinks, tubs, aquariums, etc., plumbing, water stuff, right? Not really electrical stuff. So this is liquid um, electrical tape, basically, which I think should work better and you can spray it you know shown here there's not much on the directions you can spray it over some contacts and i guess basically protects them so i'm hoping that i can get something in here and um seal it up while we order a flyback ultimately i think um if joe's willing to do it he's been pretty cool he came out and adjusted some he resoldered some 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 wires that come loose and was making the um, image shake when we would bang on the, or not me, but when my friends would bang on the um, on the control panel, sometimes the, the picture would like shake. So it turns out, uh, you know, it was just some loose wire. So he, he actually came out, no charge or anything. I just, I had, you know, I purchased the machine from him like maybe a month earlier. He just came out and literally just resoldered all the points and it fixed it. So he offered to come take a look at it. Um, I might have to order a new flyback though. So hopefully this will get me going and you know even if it does i'll probably get a new flyback anyway they're about 30 bucks but um let me show you all i hope i'm doing <laughs> doing extra extra damage by doing this but let me show you all what it looks like when i plug it in so it's already on and it's just like a you know switching power supply just plugging it in here um i kind of i'm a little I'm gonna zoom in and get a little further away. Um, so it might be a little blurry. Apologize for that, but I'm playing it for a little bit. And then we're gonna see what's going on. Okay, I see where it's coming from. Wow, that's kind of scary. It's coming from right there. So something I can't see. Something is going on right there. And it looks like there's silicone there already. So, is there a crack there? Looks like that's a crack there. I almost want to redo it. Although if I plug it in like, 
it's obviously like I don't have a gimbal or anything and it's just on my phone. Oh gosh, I'm just so zoomed in that it's, it exaggerates every single little um, movement I make. So I'm gonna try to seal that in right there. It looks like I can kind of see it. I think that's a crack there. Anyway, I'm gonna seal it up with uh, electrical tape and maybe the silicone too. If that gets me by for now, then you know, buy some time so I can get a flyback. Anyway, guys, let's uh, check it out, see what happens. All right, I found some old um, control panels stuff and it's not really being used, sort of extra. So I'm gonna try this uh, spray liquid tape electrical on it. I, there's no, other than like don't eat it, or smell it or whatever, um, there's not a whole lot of directions on it. I think you just spray it and you know, you know, don't make too much of it, dummy. I don't think there's a, there's a little nozzle like, or a straw like a WD-40, so let's give it a shot and see what it looks like. I don't think I can get it. Ooh, it smells like aerosol can spray, of course. Um, I guess uh, it's a little thin. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what you would expect it to be like. I guess that's going to, um, I don't know, dry to a rubber or something, but it's pretty thin. I don't think I can use this because if I spray that, it's just gonna go into the crack. And maybe I want that, maybe I don't, but I think I'm just gonna, Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go with the silicone because I know that that should work. Even if it's a temporary solution, it's not like the electrical kind. Um, I mean, worst thing can happen is nothing. I mean, I'm not gonna run it that way if it continues to arc um, and I'm still gonna replace the flyback, so. Yeah. Okay guys, so here's what's going on. As you saw that uh, black liquid tape stuff, I don't think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this silicone stuff. And I know it's not the right kind, it's not the electrical kind, it's not the permanent kind. I'm not gonna do this, it's not a permanent solution. Uh, we have a Christmas party coming up uh, in about a week now. So I would like to have this working by then. And honestly, like not having this whole thing working is keeping up like the rest of the garage from being put everything in its place because this thing is so heavy that you know we need this working so I can put it in some you know in this place for at least for a little while so I, I looked up the electrical stuff you know like the really good stuff for, for electrical uses and um, it's like 30 bucks and I mean a new flyback is 30 bucks so this could be the world's worst idea probably not the world's worst idea but this could be a terrible idea and you guys could be watching this probably like face palming but you know, I, I saw I saw another guy use something similar and um, it worked at least temporarily. So we're gonna fucking try it. If it doesn't work, then oh well, um, my bad. So I'm not in any way recommending that you do this. This is kind of like documenting <laughs> maybe my stupidity, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. So I've uh, already cut the tip off of this thing. And where is it? I can find with the camera. Actually easier to find the camera. Where is that little, let's focus, there it is. So that's where the little arc can expose to air. You can see this come coming. Put this on here. So I'm gonna pause this video actually, because it's hard to do with one hand, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I put a good amount of silicone over that area that looked cracked where the electricity was, you know, arcing. And um, in no way, by the way, am I recommending that you do this. The correct answer to solve this problem is, you know, replace the flyback. You know, clearly this thing has a problem. It's cracked. It needs to be replaced. That is the correct answer. It's about 30 bucks. I'm doing this half for fun, honestly, to see if it works. 
And the other reason is because, um, again, we have this Christmas party upcoming and if it's working by then, I think it'll be okay for one night if it stops arcing. But I'm gonna let that cure overnight and then we'll check it tomorrow and see how it's doing. All right, let's see what happens. All right, guys, uh, it's been about 24 hours. It looks like it's cured pretty well. Not the best job in the world, but it looks like it's covered up the crack in the flyback. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Here we go. Look like that. Patched it up. So, success, I guess. <laughs> I mean, clearly it's not arcing anymore. I haven't taken a look at the front, so. Let's go and check the monitor, see if it's, uh, it's running well. All right, guys, so the machine has been on around 15 minutes or so. So far, no arcing. Looks like it's working fairly well. Oh, I should probably explain these lines here. So if you see these lines, uh, there's nothing wrong with the monitor. That's just the way the uh, the phone, I'm just aiming my phone. You can probably see my reflection in there someplace. Uh, I'm just aiming my phone at the CRT monitor and the refresh rate of the monitor isn't syncing up with the way my phone is recording the video, so you'll always see these uh, lines just kind of scrolling up, even on a perfectly good monitor, which this seems to be right now. So that, that's not the problem. I did see, after about a minute or two of it being on, I noticed that the screen, the whole screen was sort of getting a little bit dimmer and brighter not pulsating, not like blinking. It wasn't doing it that quickly, just kind of gradually. And again, not a lot. It wasn't like getting super dark and super bright, but it did seem to notice a fluctuation and it disappeared. I, after about five minutes or so, again, it's been probably closer to 20 minutes now. Um, after about five minutes or so, it's sort of settled. And I'm not sure that if that's because I haven't had this machine on since August, really. I mean, it turned on a couple of times and saw the arcing, so we turned it immediately off. So it was, you know, it hasn't been on for any real amount of time uh, since August. And it used to be on at least once a week because we have gaming get togethers every week. So yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen that kind of darker, lighter thing before, but again, it hasn't done it again. So yeah, the, the silicone stuff obviously works at least temporarily. It's a good, you know, patch up while you get a new flyback and ultimately that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to order that flyback and hopefully Joe can come out and put that in for me. So uh, he's already been out here once, like I mentioned before, because there was some loose wires and we would jam on these buttons and, you know, hitting them really hard and the screen would shake, but that was just some loose wires. So he took care of that. So Joe's been super cool. He sold this uh, to me last year and uh, he's been super great about making sure that it's working because, you know, it's, Basically, we're doing this for the community, so, you know, I really enjoy hosting, and a lot of people come over and enjoy these games, so. Anyway, getting off topic, but, uh, yeah, the machine looks like it's working. So, if you need a temporary fix while your flyback's in the mail or whatever, yeah, throw some silicone on there, and just keep an eye on that. I wouldn't leave it unattended, because, uh, honestly, I didn't even use the correct silicone. I just used the shit from Home Depot, uh, so it's probably not rated for electrical use, and, uh... I, I wouldn't feel comfortable just leaving it running while I wasn't here in case it started arcing again. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's it for this video. Appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you want to tell me how dumb this whole thing was and I shouldn't have done it, uh, put that in the comments below. Uh, you know, subscribe if you'd like. You know, want to see new videos or whatever. But until next time, thanks for watching.